thanks for watching um, I just wanted to make this quick video because um, I'm just getting a little bit concerned about what people are actually believing on you know what people put out about YouTubes and all this and uh, Facebook whatever or pastors even you know they're talking about a polyon uh, you know a, a badon and you know they're getting it confused that destroyer you know they give it well all these names are for this angel that comes down in Revelation 9 at the sound of the fifth trumpet he comes down and opens the pit but a lot of these people seem to think it's demonic and it's evil and bottomless pit is open and these it's some people even believe these locusts are demonic locusts and some sort of it's some sort of plague on us you know the God's people but I mean well, point number one being have you ever heard of an angel called destroyer um, I think I have somewhere I mean I associate it with like death and suffering that was it yeah in the days of Moses God said if he's seen the blood then he would not allow the destroyer to come in and kill the person well kill the firstborn so if this angel called it has to be a real entity so this angel called the destroyer is the one that killed the firstborn in the plagues of Egypt so that's point number one so if you rewind in the Bible you'll see that he actually works for he's one he's God's angel this destroyer that's because God said I will not allow the destroyer or you could say Apollyon or Abaddon to go in and kill the firstborn he could have worded it that way instead of calling him the destroyer but in Greek you know and but anyway as a scriptural point of view I mean do people actually read the whole scripture and see what it is and point you know a really obvious point is these trumpet judgments are not against God's people they're against the evil ones you know that's point number one if you actually read it it says you know the angel comes down and he has the key this is a good point <laughs> this is a key point <laughs> is that he has a the key of the bottomless pit it's like you've got the key to your garage all right he has the key to the bottomless pit and he opens the bottomless pit and the smoke comes up and here's, a, here's another thing a lot of people seem to think that this is like a dement uh, they're opening a dimension or they're opening a portal so so somehow <laughs> i mean demons roam the earth anyway they don't need portals demons ro roam the earth anyway but some people seem to think it's going to be like a portal opening in space but how many times have you seen smoke coming down from the sky and coming on the earth no like a volcano smoke goes up up to the heavens so when he says he opens the bottomless pit and the smoke rises up and it darkens the sun and the sky then that is what's going to happen there's going to be a hole in the ground somewhere and it's going to be billowing smoke out and it's going to darken I mean the only no one really knows where the bottomless pit is but with my research I've only really found the Yellowstone volcano I, I've, I've found nowhere in scripture for it that would fit what it is if you know what I mean I, I've been through all scripture and I've you know but I've never really placed Yellowstone volcano anyway but if that was the bottomless pit then you know it it has the capability and I mean even if you look at it if you look at Yellowstone volcano if you look at the the multicolored um, like, like a lake thing if you look at it it actually looks like a tunnel going down and you can see it, it looks like a t it, you know it's like 3d looking down and so it might be a possibility that the Yellowstone vol volcano is the bottomless pit because if that went and it started leaking out I mean well everyone knows I mean even atheists know about Yellowstone volcano it has the capability to darken the sky you know you know but apart from that you know after that sorry the smoke darkens the sky and these locusts come out with the ability to sting people so sting people with their tails so it's not helicopters or anything <laughs> like people another you know what I mean trying to be too clever how can a helicopter's tail sting someone if you wrote a blade it just chop you to visa do you know what I mean it's an actual creature with the capability of stinging people with the sting of a scorpion and it's so bad that if 
they want it's so bad that they want to die but they can't supernaturally so these locusts come out and they torture people it says for five months okay but you know has anyone actually really read that very important point where it says they go out to torture the people who do not do not have the seal of God on their foreheads so they go after the people who do not have the seal of God on their foreheads because in Revelation 7 the angel comes up from the east and he cries out we're going to mark our saints and he mark, they mark 144,000 like super evangelical preachers who will preach the word in the last day and I presume by the seal it means they, they can't be killed they're sealed you know you can't touch them you know, that, so what Revelation uh, 9 is now saying is that these locusts cannot cannot touch these people who've got the seal of God on their foreheads so these locusts are actually like working for God because they're going after the people who are not God's servants do you know what I mean so if this king Apollyon is king over these locusts which are go which are not going after the holy people then Abaddon must be holy the locusts must be holy because the servants that they're not tormenting are holy so you know what I mean it's just oh, I don't know but apart from that if you have if he has the key of the bottomless pit in Revelation 20 it says an angel again an angel but he's unnamed we don't know his name comes down and he has a chain and you know he, he gets Satan and he chains him and he puts him in the bottomless pit and he shuts it and he seals it for a thousand years okay so if if Apollyon was not holy if he was of Satan then he wouldn't lock Satan in a pit would he so Apollyon and again if he Satan does not control the bottomless pit Satan does not control hell Satan does not control heaven Satan really doesn't control earth he just has the run of it for now he doesn't control anything so this angel is like you having the key to your garage you open your garage door but he's still got the key you see so in Revelation 20 he comes down so you get Satan and put him in your garage and you shut it back up so this Apollyon is the one who owns the key of the bottomless pit who will actually shut Satan up so this rubbish about Apollyon being the destroyer of the holy people or coming out no he's holy he's a holy angel he's 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 god sort of how would you call it he's like god's um he's like god's uh heavy man if you know what i mean he does all the dirty work he does all the horrible stuff like killing the firstborn he does all the horrible stuff like setting locusts after people and he does the horrible stuff like looking satan up so i hope that sort of you know and you can do your own research don't have to listen to me but it's there you know the locusts are holy Apollyon has the key and he keeps hold of the key of the bottomless pit and then in Revelation 20 he gets Satan throws him in the pit shuts it up and locks it with the key he's still got so thank you for watching and God bless you all Amen <laughs>